baseball as an inherent uh, race crop when it comes to scouting. It's what I alluded to before is uh, there wasn't a, there hasn't been an everyday black catcher since 20, uh, 2003. When I was working, there were 13 African American pitchers. Remember David Eckstein? Mm -hmm. Remember how he got described by people? Gritty, hard nosed winner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Top quiz, on the spot, real time. Tell me a black player that scouted that way that's described as a hard nosed gritty winner. Never, never, never happens. I mean, the same shit happens in football with QBs, right? The right. way that they're exactly. described. Right. Yeah. Except in baseball, it's every position. If you have a black kid as a catcher or a pitcher, you get scouts that will legitimately say, hey, it's science. You're wasting their athleticism. You know, screw the kids. It doesn't matter if he's great at catching or, you know, you're Jeremy Jeffers. Like, hey, why are you pitching? You could be playing center field. Why are you mm -hmm. playing shortstop? You could play center every day. You think a white kid's going to get that every day? Interesting. What can MLB do to combat this? I mean, you said I systemic. No it's inherent. I have no idea. I mean, you hear bullshit excuses. I'm sure you've heard this. Inner city kids don't like baseball yeah. because, what, it's expensive. Okay, right. like, Dominican, Dominican kids figured it out, right? Like, so that's bullshit. Or they like other sports. Well, that's racist. Yeah. That's my point. With baseball is that that culture has been robbed of baseball for a really long time. Like, we didn't have black guys in 1947. I don't know what they can do for more inclusion. You have black players in the big leagues right now, Dexter Fowler. And Hayward, they're very vocal, or Adam Jones before he left, that are, are streaming this stuff. I mean, I'm yeah. a random ass white Jewish guy. You know, those guys scream I'm like, this is messed up, and no one's doing anything. Yeah. Baseball's done nothing. I don't get it. Yeah. I wish they would. I, it's like, I'm not saying they don't care. There's people in the office who definitely care, but like, again, it's it's insurmountable, like, on, on its own. Like, it's just, you gotta hope for, uh, like, we we're talking about centrism, you know, for incremental change, and it just, yeah. you hope it sticks. I think that yeah. the, we find this across a lot of industries with this kind of diversity and equity and inclusion initiatives, right? Like there's a lot of lip service around things. There's a lot of talk about what would look good and what we should be doing. And right. often there's less action because maybe people don't know what to do or we're reliant on incremental change, like you said. And it's just, it's really fucking hard work to put it bluntly. And a lot of times people don't have the the wherewithal or the care to really put in the work necessary.